Hello, my friends. Our scripture today is Philippians 3, 15 through 17, and here it is. All of us, then, who are mature should take such a view of things. And if on some point you think differently, that too God will make clear to you. Only let us live up to what we have already attained. Join together in following my example, brothers and sisters, and just as you have us as a model, keep your eyes on those who live as we do. So all of us then who are mature should take such a view of things. What view is that? What Paul just finished saying in the previous paragraph is brothers and sisters do not consider, I do not consider myself yet to have taken hold of it. But one thing I do, forgetting what is behind and straining toward what is ahead, I press on toward the goal to win the prize for which God has called me heavenward in Christ Jesus, back in Philippians 3, 13 and 14. So, no matter how mature or seasoned we are in the Lord, we have not arrived. Let me say that again. We have not arrived, and we should never behave as if we have arrived. We've all seen it, that smug look on a Christian's face as if they know more than we, as if they've seen more, as if they somehow have been to the top of the mountain and back down again, and we can feel their pat on the top of our heads, as if they are wiser than the rest of us. It's actually a sign of immaturity. It's pride. The truly mature person has eyes wide open and baby skin, eager to learn more from the Lord. We are all just penguins dancing on huge, enormous icebergs. We haven't exhausted the size of the iceberg or what we've seen or known. Not one of us has ever scratched the surface of what it means to know God's love. So the true mark of maturity is the person who is eager to grow and learn. And Paul says, let's forget about what lies behind. You know, it's so hard for us to let go. We want to brag about the good and turn the bad over and over in our minds, wondering how we could have done it differently. But now it's water under the bridge and we need to press on. The Lord has something new for us today, something to show us, something to do through us, something for us to learn about him. That, my friends, is maturity. So we have not already attained, and I have seen so many believers get stuck, plateau out on something, their gift, their ministry, their calling, obsessed with it, and its importance, or their experience, their mission, their memory, let it go. Let's relax our hands and let's grab a hold of what God has for us in the future. Let's let go of whatever we're clenching onto and stretch our arms out like babies to grab a hold of Christ. So remember, Christ alone is our prize. No one else nothing else. Christ will give us many things along the way, many friends, many teachings, and many gifts, but only Christ is our prize. He alone is the finish line. His embrace for you is what we live for. God bless you.